Sir Trevor Brooking, West Ham's attack looks more potent with outstanding Michel Antonio. Having played in the same team as that other West Ham Knight of the Realm, Sir Jeff Hurst, and Kevin Keegan with England, Sir Trevor Brooking ought to know a good striker when he sees one. Which is why, when the West Ham great who played 635 times for his beloved club, is effusive in his praise of Michel Antonio, who scored his seventh Premier League goal of the season in the 2-2 draw at Liverpool on Sunday, it is as well to take notice. Brooking made his first team debut aged 18 in 1967 at Turf Moor, the home of Burnley, who come to the London Stadium tonight and he believes Slaven Viola could do a lot worse than stick with Antonio up front. The utility man was pushed forward at Anfield as Diafra Sarko and Simone Zazo were injured while Andy Carroll was on the bench after a lengthy layoff. Certainly for me, Michel is the outstanding West Ham player of the season so far, said Brooking. His versatility was there for all to see at Liverpool when he began up front, then went to right back for a while and finally, when Slavin switched to a back three, he played as wing back. The massive bonus for West Ham, though, has been that when he has played up front, West Ham's attack has looked more potent than at any other time, except when Diafra came in for two games and then you saw the beauty of having a striker who can turn the opposition around. Against Chelsea in the League Cup, Michel played up front and gave them all sorts of problems and on Sunday no one other than him would have scored that goal because, when the deflection took the ball over the head of the defender, no one else would have been quick enough to get behind them. Brooking, now 68, attends every home match as a guest of honour and has been impressed by West Ham's new home. He was back at the London Stadium on Monday to take a closer look at the many references and tributes to his illustrious 17-year playing career at the club and who leaves, despite early problems, it is the team's performances and results which will ultimately create new history for the Hammers. He said, injuries certainly haven't helped and the move to the stadium was always, initially at least, going to be tricky. That will be resolved, though, by good home performances similar to that against Chelsea. The other factor is that, last season, our player intake was terrific and it was always going to be difficult to match that again. In the current climate it's very difficult to replicate because every club in the Premier League has had money to spend. I believe Slaven will get it right, though. I like him and he did a terrific job last season when the squad exceeded expectations. There is no way the club should make a change now. Tonight's visitors in the first of two crucial home matches for West Ham, evoke powerful memories for Brooking of his first taste of action. The manager, Ron Greenwood felt it was good to give young players their debuts away from home because there was less pressure. The goal scores in a 3-3 draw the day were Bobby Moore, Martin Peters and Hurst which wasn't bad, just a year after the trio had played in the World Cup final. Later that season, I scored my one and only hat trick in a 5-0 win over Newcastle. I got everyone to sign the ball and gave it to my mum and dad, who stuck it on top of their TV. Brooking is standing in front of the vast stand which bears his name and which was officially opened in July, when Juventus were the visitors. The atmosphere was good, he said. That's been a subject of debate since but I think what happens on the pitch dictates everything. I was at the cup tie against Chelsea and it was probably the best performance so far. The atmosphere was terrific and when everyone is behind the team, it will be fine. More than anything, the crowd can help the team in these next two home matches, against Burnley and Hull. Four or six points from these two games would put us in the pack in the middle of the table. There's no reason why, against Burnley, we can't raise the roof and set the benchmark for the future. Check out these other amazing videos. Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much. Subscribe now.